Hey guys, welcome to For Tutorials. So guys, today I teach you how to create flying cloth animation in Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I take plane, this one, and I go to display, select all shading lines here. Guys, I increase more segments, where segments I take 100 and height same 100. And select this plane little bit up, like this. Now, guys, I take jiggle, this one, and select jiggle and connect with plane. Select jiggle and guys, go to advanced and springs take zero, zero. After that, guys, I take turbulence. So I go to simulate particles and use here turbulence, right? Okay. So guys select jiggle and I go to force and drag and drop turbulence in force. See guys, right? Increase some settings, go to turbulence, strength I take like zero, actually 20 and scale size 20. So go on back and play. Yeah, guys, I increase frame like 500. That's really good, right? Okay, now stop. Guys, this is not so looking so good. I increase more settings, turbulence. So guys, select this turbulence and create duplicate. I go to edit, copy and paste and change strength and scale size. Guys, strength is good. Scale size increase like 100. And again, I go to jiggle. Select this turbulence to drag and drop in force. Yeah. And play. See guys, that's really good. It's cloth. Right? Guys, little bit increased smoothness. So, I take smooth tool, this one. Select a connect with plane. And again, go on back and play. Yeah, this much better. Right? Okay, good. Now, guys, I apply little bit depth. This only plane, I create cloth. So I take depth. And again, I go to simulate cloth and use cloth surface. Select this plane and child with plane surface. Select close surface and subdivision I take zero and thickness I take one. See, right? This is thickness, right? Okay, now lastly guys, I apply subdivision surface for more smoothness and subdivision editor is two is good and render i take one so select this close surface connect with subdivision surface yeah see guys that's now really smooth right okay i show you and go on back and play see guys this is my final animation right okay now guys i apply cloth material so i go to here content browser and presets view change as a view see guys this is my all carpet and cloth texture and materials you can download from my website link in description right so select this carpet and double click and I go to here, object, apply on, plane. And hide, show lines. Guys, change little bit UV. So select this material. And length U, I take 50 and 50. Yeah, that's it. Great. And now, guys, I apply C4D Studio Lite. Go to file and merge. Select and open. Select overhead saw box, go on mid, 
little bit down and create camera moving animation so guys i take camera and camera check go to here and press this animation key and guys go to last actually play and i go to like 200 frames camera angle like this closer and press this animation key again play and change view angle like this and press this animation key and again play go to 500 frames and closer right and check see guys now first animation is cloth and second animation is camera moving animation guys i apply some assets on background it's totally empty it's not looking so good right so i take spare and spare radius i take 10 centimeter and i take cloth actually this one cloner select this pair and connect with cloner select cloner and i take great array and mid array i take zero and size zero and increase count first count i take like randomly 20 size take 500 and third same 20 and size 500 right okay now guys i apply a random effector so select cloner and use random and parameter y position i take 0 and z i take 1000 and last one 1000 go to scale size and ununiform check scale size 0 0.5 that's it guys and select this cloner little bit up that's it right okay guys select this pair and create duplicate the shortcut command is holding alt key drag and drop and apply material go to load here apply yellow and purple any material that's looking great right so guys all is good i apply some good render setting so subdivision uncheck and go to render setting mb occlusion maximum time 1 to 8 accuracy 100 percent and global illumination all is good indirectly catch a record density i take low anti geometry is good so file i take jpeg sequences go to back and create folder like renders and take any file name output use full hd frame and all that's it guys so close and render press ok so guys my simple small tutorial is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my YouTube channel and guys you can download all project file materials anything from my website it's free thank you